Toy Tony Corral finally gets his hands on Steel Wool tonight. And of course, once the green will be out there with Steel Wool, let's, let's see how things go down here this evening. This is EWA Hostile Takeover Part 1. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Rose alongside Lone Wolf Bobby Blade. We are live here at the Thornhill Education Center, and Ben Sheeran Brand is on their way out to the ring right now. The Ben Sheeran Brand here this evening, they have actually taken over the EWA. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we learn what everything is all about here. Ben Sheeran ran out on the way to the ring now. Commissioner Ben Sheeran, don't forget about that. Ben yeah, Sheeran, Commissioner. Yes. Ben Sheeran is the EWA commissioner. You see him bringing the Heritage Champion Gaston LaRue out, bringing the EWA Heavyweight Champion Clayton Cannon out, and also they are accompanied by the nefarious Scott Diamond. The Nefarious Scott Diamond, ne what? Nefarious Scott Diamond. Do you know what nefarious means? Yes, I do. It means awesome. God. Awesome? You said awesome? Awesome. So this is... I said, you need to have more than two teeth to talk to me, so shut your mouth. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't really appreciate the way you announced me, so maybe I should make you do it again. Do it again! Run it back! Do it again! Do it again! Oh.
Ben Sheeran causing issues here at EWA. Let's continue on and see what he says. This event is called Hostile Takeover for a reason. And that's because the Ben Sheeran brand is here to take over. And there's not a soul in this building that can stop us. Not Marty Clay, not that little goofy Ethan Hire, none of them. Scott Diamond with the All microphone right. now. Now let a guy get up here and say a few things. Tell him, Scott. You know, for the last month or so, I've been calling and calling and calling you, Ben Sharon. You didn't call me. <laughs> what about you, dude? I've got you on speed dial. Everybody needs a cougar. Now, you know, Ben Shen, Gaston, Clayton, I don't understand what's been going on with the three, I guess, because you know, and you know, that it was my money, it was my lawyers, it was my mindset, they got Clayton Kennedy reinstated right here at EWA in the first place. Well, you get him that You, as a commissioner, Ben Sharon, as the commissioner of the Neat Wrestling Alliance, was having an issue getting Clayton Cannon reinstated. I took care of that problem for you.
And I'm trying to cut you in on this deal. But the fact is that if you had done your job, oh. I would have been EWA champion two months ago. <laughs> oh my, what? Bobby Blade. Wow. Wow. It's true. It's true. It's with a heavy heart that I have to inform you. It's your out. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. You know, you're talking about if Scott Diamond would have done his job. Let me tell you something, Clayton. You've got a great physique. You spend a lot of time in the gym. You may go somewhere in this business. Guests on the room. You too. I have watched you since you both came into this business. And you may have a future. The only thing that stands in your way is not the knowledge. It's not the perseverance. It's not the time you spend in the gym. It's what you do right here. And you have aligned yourself with somebody that I thought was a business partner. But what it turned out to be is just a big disappointment. <laughs> so if I would have done my job, I would have still had Frank the Tank beside me. I would have still had Gerald Rock beside me. And brother, we would have wiped this room up with the three of you. Look, old man, I know you like to talk, and I tried to say it nice once, now I'm not going to be so nice. It's not 1975, it's 2023. This is the Ben Shearer brand, and I'm going to tell you one more time. Oh. You are out. 2023, don't you try it, kid. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. oh no. Wait a second, wait a second, here's Alex Angel. Here's Alex Angel. Coming in to defend Scott Diamond. Angel in. Oh! He lays out Scott! Can you believe that? Alex Angel has just decked Scott Diamond. I can't believe this. Scott. Oh! Alex, Alex Angel, really? Headbutt him. He's got him tied up into the ropes. Ben Sheeran's got the uh, kendo stick there. Uh oh, uh oh. They've got. He's got him by the scarf, and he's just. Oh, oh he's over. He goes. He's, he's hanging, hanging him. Hanging he's him hanging him. Up. Up. Come on! Look at the face of Scott Diamond. It's turning beet red as red as his shirt. You're out. Are you feeling it now? You're out. Clayton. Scott Diamond just disposed of. Here come the officials. Oh, come on! Look at the face of Scott Diamond. He can't breathe. He's on the floor. Alex Angel's out there with him. Going back into the ring. Alex Angel has aligned with, with Ben Sheeran brand? Really? He, oh, he's got another token. He just handed Scott Diamond's he's, scarf to Ben Sheeran. Scott Diamond gone. <laughs> wow, I can't believe what we just saw. Scott Diamond being held back by security and referees. Listen to the crowd. Listen to the crowd. They're Go. chanting for Scott Diamond. Yeah. Got an opponent. Alex Angel's gonna be in a match, Bobby Blade. It's an impromptu match to kick things off tonight. Commissioner Ben Sheeran had Scott Diamond laid out and hung, and they carried him out of here. Scott's gone. Scott is gone. Go! Oh, look out! Joseph Miles on his way to the ring. 
He has answered the open challenge of Alex Angel. Joseph Miles coming out to ring right now to take on Alex Angel. Oh, look out, look out, look out. He's definitely gonna have to watch his back. You have, you have on the outside of the ring, you have Ben Sheeran, you have Gaston LaRue. Joseph Miles, it's Alex Angel, and it's going to be our opening contest here tonight at Prime Hostile Takeover. And like we said earlier and everything, the Ben Sheeran brand is on the floor. He's a professional. He runs with Joseph Miles needs to open his eyes, make sure he keeps his eyes glued onto the Ben Sheeran brand at ringside. Open the eyes on the back of his head as well. Ben Sheeran out there with a kendo stick. Ben Sheeran has got Scott Diamond's scarf, a symbolic uh, uh, revenant from Scott Diamond. And we are underway here and Joseph Miles going to work, rolling out of the way and going to the knee, taking out the, the big man here. Oh, look out referee. Joseph Miles going to work here, trying to Oh, take down Alex Angel. There you see a set of double knees right to the chest of Alex Angel. And Alex Angel had him scouted right there. Oh, and he dumps him over, but met with a kick. Joseph Miles at the top already. And he hits him Missile with that drop, drop kick. kick. Beautifully done. Joseph Miles on fire here in the early uh -oh. going. And oh, so no. Right then. The scoundrel had Joseph Nile, Miles' number, planted him into the middle of the ring. Alex Angel dumps Miles to the outside and down he goes. Just to like this he, hard gym floor. Just like he was a disgusting bag of trash. Joseph Miles on the floor. Alex Angel follows his mouth and proceeds to put the boots to him. Look, look at Angel here. Angel, oh, he just dumps Miles onto the onto the floor there. Again, that that the floor is not it's not a good feeling floor because this is an old school hardwood basketball floor. This is a very old building here. Oh, and then lower back into the post. Oh, what a time! He just, just dumps him like a bag of trash. He just swung him into the post there. Dumps him like a bag of trash, ladies and gentlemen. Ben Sheer ready to stalk him on the outside of the ring, Joseph Miles. He's threatening him with that kendo stick. You've got the champion, Clayton Cannon, out there. You got the heritage champion, Gaston LaRue, out at ringside. Did you get my scarf? Let's go, Alex! Alex Let's Angel go, Alex. throws Joseph Miles back into the ring as handling his business. And now has him lifted. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> That was a Northern Lights release suplex. Oh, he, he just launched him. He launched him coast to coast on that. Wow. Just shows the power of the scoundrel Alex Angel. And big shout out to some of our viewers here this evening. Big hello to Jared Sloan. He is here tonight. Oh, Jared Sloan. <laughs> Now he has a, oh, maybe one more. Oh, he just launches him again. Alex Angel showing the power, showing the strength, why he's a part of the Ben Sheeran brand. You just saw him a little bit earlier. He turned his back on Scott Diamond, who is the guy responsible for bringing him back in. Right, right. Uh, it's shocking. And also, also, Clayton Cannon, the EWA Heavyweight Champion. He was responsible for bringing him back into the company as well. Oh, look at Miles, though. He's teeing off. Teeing off here. Shirt comes off for Miles. He's on fire. You hear this crowd getting behind Joseph Miles. Uh oh, he has him up. 
but Angel just taking the strength and fighting, taking down Miles, just pops him in the back of the head. Yep. This is a heck of a get here for Ben Shear and Brand to get the scoundrel Alex Angel on their side. You know, at the end of the last broadcast, I said that uh, Ben Sheeran was crooked, but that's one of his good qualities. Absolutely. That's what makes Ben Sheeran Ben Sheeran. I get it. Oh, man, Only a two count. We are here in Frankfort, Kentucky. It is the Elite Wrestling Alliance. This is our opening contest as a part of Hostile Takeover Part 1. It's Joseph Miles, Alex Angel coming up in just a moment. Steel Wool taking on Tony Corral. And now Angel has him up into the corner and the big Oklahoma power slam puts him down with authority maybe looking for that pin here's the count two oh, kicks him two. back up he didn't kick oh, out he pulled sorry. him up he pulled him up I was getting ready to say if he went for the cover just a little bit sooner he might have got a three count but it didn't look like he wanted to get the three count just then he wants to punish Joseph Miles you're absolutely correct Maybe putting him away here. Ben Sheeran giving direction to him to finish him off. Oh my goodness! Spike, spine buster there from Alex Angel, the scoundrel, and That's that does it. it. And just like that, Alex Angel, your victor. That's by the book. Well, like I said, the Ben Sheeran brand scores a victory here tonight with Alex Angel. Two victories. Alex Angel got a victory, and then the Ben Sheeran brand scored a victory by getting Alex Angel. You're absolutely correct. We got a lot more coming up. Steel Wool, Tony Corral coming up next. Don't forget, we are here each and every month here at the Hill Education Center in Frankfort, Kentucky, 700 Leslie Avenue. I remembered it that time. Our next event here is on Saturday night, March. We are right here once again at the Hill Education Center. The third Saturday of next month. Third Saturday. We're usually here the second Saturday of every month, but next month we'll be here for the third Saturday. Fans giving a hand to Joseph Miles. Hey, you got to give it to Joseph Miles. He he tried to withstand everything he could from Alex Angel, but Alex Angel proving to be just a little bit too much for Joseph Miles tonight. You're absolutely correct. Let's, let's uh, take a break here. We'll be back with more EWA in just a moment. We are back, ready to go with more EWA wrestling action. It's hostile takeover. Aaron Rose alongside Lone Wolf Bobby Blade. And we hear some very familiar music. Very familiar music in. Would you like me to sing it for you, Bob? With the Bob, no, the please don't. Dang, dang. Why not? I'm a good please, singer. Just put, please don't. Please I have don't. sweet melodic tones. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh. Gosh, I have to put up with you every show, don't I? Why not? We're a commentary team. We're I, like I, a package deal. I know, I know. Uh oh. All steel, no wool. Steel wool on his way out to the ring here this evening as he is going to be taking on the likes of Tony Corral. And out here with steel wool is Lexi Green. Now, oh, yeah. Now, Lexi. My favorite. Lexi has threatened bodily harm on me if I don't tell the world that Lexi is my favorite individual in all of professional wrestling. So I'm going to say that right now. Lexi Green is one of my favorite people in all of professional wrestling. Please don't hurt me. What? What? You do you, man. She's threatened bodily harm on me. I don't want to die. I mean, am I right? Well, you're right. I mean, she <laughs> could. I mean, she's definitely, she's definitely a tough woman. Yeah. Uh, there oh, you look see. out! Speaking to top. Corral making his 
way out to the ring here. And he's going right after Steel Wool. He's going after him. He's following him to the floor. Yep. It's a rat race on the floor. Steel Wool baits him in. Here we go. And we are off and running. Steel Wool hammering with lefts and rights and forearms and kicks on the back of Tony Corral. Goes to shoot him off. Tony Corral ducks underneath the clothesline, ducks a second clothesline. Big forearm. And Tony Corral taking care of business early here. Here's the scoop and the slam. And that ring shifted just a little bit there. Tony Corral. Oh. Hits him with that leg drop right across the face. He connected too. Only a one count though as Steel Wool able to kick out again. All Steel, no Wool. Steel Wool taking on Tony Corral here. Frankfurt, Kentucky. Oh, 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 look at that. That's that's a veteran move right there. Is that right a Bobby the Blade eye. move? That is a Bobby Blade move. I love it. Don't forget, lurking on the outside of the ring, it's Lexi Green. You also got to mention the bad blood that's been between Tony Corral and Steel Wool the past several months. They've been uh, at each other's throats, but this is the first time they've actually met in the ring. That is absolutely correct. I mean, how many months? Probably. Oh, big oh, wow. on there. What? Probably four or five months at this point. Yeah. Here's Most a pin. Still. That's an arrogant pin, and you're only gonna get a one count out yeah, of that. You you can't pin Tony Corral with a lackadaisical pin like that. Yeah, I said lackadaisical. Very nice. Yes, I'm I'm uh, reading my the story. Nice. Very nice. I, I like it. I like it. You're breaking a mental sweat. Yes, I am. It's hot in here, so. That big man is nice. Speaking of hot, Lexi Green is on the floor cheering on Steel Wool. Lexi Green will be in action. Oh, look at that. Look, uh -oh. look at there. Look at that. Speaking of Lexi Green again. Come right to the back of the neck there. Lexi Green will be in action in part two of Hostile Takeover. And she takes on Alexis Littlefoot. What a good match we have yeah, there. What well, a I'm match excited for that be. one. Yeah. And now going to work here. One, two, three. Referee up to four as Steel Wool is able to choke the life out. Hey, oh, hey, yeah. hey, come on. Rake the eyes, rake the eyes. They're doing a great job as a team here keeping Tony Corral down. Lexi Green uh, taunting the fans a little bit on the outside there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, trying to fight back. Oh. Throws a big punch there. Another one. Tony Corral with the punches, punch after punch. And still oh. still will takes him back down with a huge shoulder block. That shoulder tackle just made him bounce and now using the head to the back. Yeah, diving headbutt. Right to the solar plexus. Smartly goes to the cover there, but did not get him. And Lexi Green celebrating maybe a little bit too early. Oh, look at that though. Look at the placement of the leg and the foot of uh, Steel Wool. Did you see where it was at? Right across the throat, yep. right across the throat. And now look at the headlock here. He's got, he's taking all of his body weight and putting it on top of Tony Corral. Tony Corral trying to work his way back up. Actually, Steel Wool gonna help him up there. And throws him out to the floor. Oh. And again, you can hear that floor as hard it is as it is here at the Thornhill Education Center. And like you said earlier, this is a hard wood basketball gym floor. Oh, old, school. Yeah, old school. Old school. Old school. Steel Wool. Oh, oh my gosh. He just caved in his chest with that chop against the pole. What a chop that was. Oh my goodness. Setting him up again. Looks like he's going to go for the same thing here. Oh, he moved. He moved. He, moved. he chopped the pole. That's a broken hand, too. Has to be. Referee update. Both men back into the ring here. 
Tony Corral maybe ended up catching a break as he moves out of the way and now he's got a reverse chin lock. Got his head wrenched all the way back there. Tony Corral, oh, oh. Tony Corral takes a chin breaker. He was ready. Yeah, from Steel Wool. Steel Wool had the wherewithal to know exactly where he was at and what was going on to counter that. Whoa, look whoa, at whoa, that, whoa, whoa, look whoa, at whoa. that, look at that. What's he got in his hand? He's, He's got, got a chain. That is a chain. Oh, punch! Referee punch. sees punch. it. Takes it from him. But look on the other side of the ring though, Lexi Green has got Tony Corral. The That's it. <laughs> Referee's called for the bell and Tony Corral gets the win. Tony Corral, your victor via disqualification as Lexi Green gets involved one too many times. The referee caught it and had enough. Oh, and look here Wait on the second. floor. Wait a second. Morgan here Jane comes out. Morgan Jane, and Morgan Jane was a piece of Lexi Green. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, that does it for this first part of Hostile Takeover. Could we, could we be seeing maybe a mixed tag match down the road between these between these four. I can see it happening. I can see it happening. The tensions are rising between all of them. You know, Tony Corral gets his hand raised by disqualification, but the damage was done to Tony Corral by Lexi Green and Steel Wool. They worked him over and worked him over and worked him over this entire match. He's definitely not leaving this match the same man as he was when he came into the ring. You're absolutely correct. We got a lot more coming up here at EWA Hostel Takeover. Thank you for tuning in to part one, part two, coming up in just a little bit. This is EWA Hostel Takeover. I'm Aaron Rose alongside Lone Wolf Bobby Blade. Thanks for tuning in.